Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Adaoju. In today's video, I'm going to show you my detailed pre-makeup skincare routine. And this has helped prevent the emergence of acne immediately after I apply my makeup or take off my makeup. Now, I have a pre-makeup skincare routine and I also have a post-makeup skincare routine. It might sound like a lot to you, but if you have acne prone skin, you have to do a pre-makeup skincare routine and a post makeup skincare routine to prevent excessive emergence of acne and i'm going to show you my detailed pre makeup skincare routine and the products i use and how i use them to prevent acne okay are you excited to start the routine i'm going to start by cleansing my face and i'm doing this with the lux soft caress soap i'm just going to lather it into my palm i've already wet my face and i'm going to lather the soap on my skin and give my face a very very good wash so you're just going to massage your face wash it well with your finger balls go into those corners those places you know that you might have like build ups you have oils just go in there and wash it very 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 well okay so that is what i did here and after that i'm going to rinse my face and i'm going to pat my face dry so you will not pat like extremely extremely dry because you are still going to you know exfoliate so i just pat it dry a little bit then when you are pat when you are drying your face try not to drag especially if you have sensitive skin try to pat it dry okay then i'm going to go in with the st ives acne control scrub this thing has salicylic acid and it helps to control acne and it's a very creamy <laughs> i got it in my eyes it's a very creamy face scrub and the first time i used it i was like where have you been all my life <laughs> so you're just going to scrub in a circular motion don't be too aggressive somehow this video is making it look like i was very very aggressive <laughs> but trust me i was gentle so make sure you do it in a circular motion so you make sure you're exfoliating the dead skin you know you want to apply makeup so you want to take off whatever is on the face before you apply makeup if not you just be heaping <laughs> more oil on the one already there and more acne will emerge so you need to exfoliate the dead skin or whatever is on your face so i just kept scrub kept going in circular motions then i'm just going to wash it off so okay i washed it off and i'm going to pat my face dry i wanted to say something i kept massaging in circular motion till you know i no longer had like movement on the scrub so that's what i normally do i keep massaging it i don't have like easy movement with the scrub then i know it's time to wash so i'm just going to pat my face dry and i'm going to go ahead to apply my fascia max so this is the third step you apply your fascia max and i have a detailed tutorial here on this channel on how to make this max this is a coffee um this is a coffee smoothening max i have a detailed tutorial on how to make it how to make yours check the link in the description box it will take you directly to that video so you are going to apply it all over your face and you are going to let it you're going to let it sit for about 15 minutes after then you're going to wash it off so i just applied it all over my face and i let it sit for 15 minutes while i was trying to take some cool pictures <laughs> and after that i washed my face and i'm going to pat my face dry okay try not to drag your face try to pat your face dry i remember when i was not so in on skincare when they say pat your face i'm like what the hell we're going to drag it but since i started patting i've seen a lot of improvement okay so don't be like me next i'm going to go in with my st ives body lotion my oatmeal body lotion and i'm going to take two pumps and i'm going to massage the lotion into my face okay i don't normally tone when i want to apply my makeup because the toner will naturally dry my skin and my skin is oily and sensitive and it will produce more oil so i just keep toning the days i want to apply my makeup so i kept massaging you want to give massage it very well so you can use your face cream your lotion your serums all those good stuff and really help the next thing you want to do is use your lip balm so that your lips will be moisturized and ready for the application of the lipstick or whatever i want to put on your lips so your lip balm your lip gloss whatever i use to moisturize your lips guys use it okay use it and 
smack your lips let everything sit in well make sure everything is well absorbed into your face before you go ahead to apply your makeup your foundation see i don't know how to do makeup so you guys should not come and tell me oh ada uh -uh, i'm just trying my best here so uh, make sure that everything has has been well absorbed into your skin before you apply it and start on clean beauty sponge clean brushes don't go and use dirty sponge or a dirty brush it will just you use you, you'd have just wasted all the you know all the skincare because after taking out all the things you don't need you just replaced it back with your with your dirty sponge and your dirty brush the fungi the microbes all those things causing the acne you need to always wash your brushes start on clean brush okay so i just kept massaging the foundation in to my skin you know pressing it in and building it up slowly like i said starting with a clean brush a clean beauty sponge is key so guys this is my free makeup skincare routine if you enjoyed this video definitely definitely give this video a thumbs up if you're watching from youtube don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well so that whenever I post a video, you will get notified. If you are watching from Facebook, give this video a like or a love. Any expression you want to see this video, definitely give it. And follow my page on Facebook at Adaoju. And I'll see you in my next. Bye.